Ryan Thomas has opened up on his lonely stint on Celebrity Big Brother after Roxanne Pohl had accused him of purposely punching her. The former Corey actor, 39, spoke about the incident and backlash on his podcast with his brother Scott Thomas admitting that he felt lonely and betrayed. In 2018, Immerdale star Roxanne said that Tryon repeatedly and deliberately punched her when he was actually punching the air in her vicinity while play fighting. Speaking of the ordeal, Scott said, The situation with Roxanne Pallet which you've never talked about before came up and I remember watching at home, and I remember like it was yesterday. I even remember the exact video where you just went up to her and you gave her a little play punch, like, in the air and we're all watching at home, as the audience, knowing exactly what's happened, that you never even touched her. So obviously we know straight away from the nation's perspective that we're on your side, but obviously being in there, she was making out to the rest of the contestants that you would physically hurt her. Ryan shed extensive light on the situation and what actually went down in the house, from what you see on the telly and from what I see in the show they're two different perspectives so I'll tell you how it looked from where I was standing. So Roxanne and Ben, Jardine, were getting on really well, Roxanne had a fella, she was engaged and Ben was sort of pushing it on her. He really fancied her and he was trying everything in his power to sort of whisk her off her feet. So from where I was standing, it looked a little bit uncomfortable like she didn't want it and he wanted more and then the next thing you know, Roxanne decides she's gonna go and stay in the spare room, which is away from the rest of the house. From my point of view that was it, that's why she stayed in there and I just let it go. But every day we used to train together all the housemates used to go in the garden do a group workout and I woke up this one morning and we were doing the group workout and it felt odd, the atmosphere just didn't feel right. I had no understanding of why it felt this way, maybe it was because I felt a certain way, maybe I woke up in a bad mood and then, this was the bit that hurt and I had no idea why people were getting drinks of water for everybody and everyone was handing them out to everybody after the gym workout and no one give me a drink. I know it sounds really strange, but I can only describe it as something at school where you get left out, or you're the last to be picked and I was like, it's really odd, people excluding me from something. He continued, I don't know why and then I just left it and I thought, okay. I went into the bedroom and I was sat there just contemplating, I felt a little bit lonely. It's the first time I've really gone back to that place and talked about it but it was just weird, I just couldn't put my finger on why this was happening but I didn't want to make a thing of it and go, why are you not all talking to me? Because I thought it was me. I thought it was something that I had a problem with and it was just a normal day for them guys. Anyway, I was sitting on the bed and Kirsty, Allie, on one side, there was Sally, Morgan, on the other there was Nick, Leeson, and there was Dan, Osborne, and I just got that feeling I'm being left out. Then someone came in and said, it's because of you that she didn't want to stay in the house, well, I'm even getting goose pimples now speaking about it, I was like, what do you mean me? I had no idea why. I just got in my head it was all about Ben and their relationship, their bond with each other and then I was like, it's something that I've done and then I went into the diary room to speak to them, but bearing in mind before this I'd been taken into the diary room to be told that him on my last warning. I was like, wow, my last warning? They said Terry's been an incident and you're on your last warning and I didn't really grasp it but I was just being myself and going okay, I'm not going to argue with the big brother house. Scott shared in his brother's disbelief, saying, this is mad, this is why the nation was baffled because big brother could actually look through at the tapes but they were treating you as if you had done something wrong. Defending the show, 
Ryan went on, I just feel like it's a science experiment and they don't interfere with what's going on. They know if something was wrong, then they would have intervened, but they wanted to see how it played out and sort of get it, but a lot of people saying I shouldn't have gone through what I went through, but you're there to be tested. Join the Daily Record WhatsApp community. Get the latest news sent straight to your messages by joining our WhatsApp community today. You will receive daily updates on breaking news as well as the top headlines across Scotland. No one will be able to see who is signed up and no one can send messages except the Daily Record team. All you have to do is click here if you're on mobile, select Join Community and you're in. If you're on a desktop, simply scan the QR code above with your phone and click Join Community. We also treat our community members to special offers, promotions, and adverts from us and our partners. If you don't like our community, you can check out any time you like. To leave our community click on the name at the top of your screen and choose Exit Group. If you're curious, you can read our privacy notice. While Scott insisted, not like that though bro, Ryan said, to a point, but anyway when I went back into the room and then he was about me and I knew that, you know, I was the problem for Roxanne. I sort of broke down because I felt lonely and I felt like everyone else thought that I was the problem and that it done something wrong and then I start to question did I do something wrong? because it was that intense in that environment. Then it was eviction night and you get your family's messages from home and I got a message from Scott and I was really happy it was Scott because Scott's amazing words, jokes, he's not really good in person. He wrote this message saying, we're all here for you, bro, we all know the truth. It's so weird I get emotional about it now because it's over and I don't even think about it. Scott said, I'm getting emotional. The maddest thing was for us watching it was that you were kind of oblivious to what was going on and you were in this house, questioning yourself. I remember when you broke down and it killed me because it was like, the whole nation was on your side and had your back. Ryan added, but I didn't know this Scott and the only time I knew this is when it came to eviction night, the night of you sending me that message which was emotional enough as was, they then did the eviction. I got to hear the words, get Roxanne out and I just released because I knew it wasn't about me, I knew it was about her, but when you're in there, it's one of the most lonely places that you can ever go to because you don't know these people from day one, 